Hey guys, are we missing a piece of the gospel? Got a minute? In the week leading up to Jesus' death, there was a woman who found him while he was in Bethany. She took this really expensive pure nard, which is this perfume, and she anoints Jesus with it. And we got all these people upset about it. But then Jesus says this, I tell you the truth, wherever the gospel is preached throughout the world, what she has done will also be told in memory of her. Most of the time, I don't hear about it. So what are we missing? If you go back to Jewish customs, there is a day of atonement where all these people are going to be bringing sacrifices, these lambs in order to be slaughtered for the sins of Israel. And you can imagine the smell of death, the dead animal smell that just kind of comes in whenever you've done this over and over and over again. And so there's another altar in the temple. It's an altar of incense. And one of the priests would walk over to the altar of incense and sacrifice some incense, and it would fill the temple with that smell. Although the, the job was hard and, and you know the death was still there, the smell made it to where you could smell a release of mercy a release of grace, a release of something that just tells you that this isn't the end. And one of the perfumes that they use is nard. This lady gave him a gift to be able to remember whenever everything got rough, whenever you know the father had to turn his back on him, whenever all this was happening, there was this smell that rose up into Jesus's nose. And the smell was grace and a reminder that this isn't the end. It was a reminder of the bigger purpose. And the Bible talks about how we can offer up incense. The prayers of the saints and the prayers of the people are like an incense unto the Lord. If Jesus could smell your prayer as he is preparing for his own death, would, would it comfort him? And if it wouldn't, what do you need to do to change that? Thanks for taking a minute.